Hello everyone, all who are one body of Christ. So I say welcome to the studio this coming together. Today I'm meditating upon. He will put us in a shape that will be useful. Before we start, let's just talks on this topic. Jeremiah chapter 18 verse 4. And the vessel he was making of clay was spoiled in the potter's hand, and he reworked it into another vessel, as it seemed good to do the potter to do. Now let's see what you can learn from the verse you just read. Everything needs to be shaped before it's ready to be used. God uses suffering to refine perfect strength in and keep us from falling. God works on us individually and puts us in a shape which requires to serve Him. God knows each one of us individually. God has this destiny for you. Suffering allows the life of Christ to be manifested in our mortal flesh. But even though our life and the process of development may come with personal disappointments as you wished you were further along. Remember that hope does not disappoint. But when we allow them to produce hope, God promises that hope will not disappoint. But in order to arrive at an authentic hope in our spirit, accepting your detours is necessary. Just like your muscles will not grow by simply wishing them to grow stronger. The pain through the process of strengthening your hope comes in detours, tribulations, afflictions, and trials. This is because authentic hope is a learned trait. Authentic hope is that level of hope which stays steady despite the circumstances. It is the hope that enables you to keep going on faith alone. A large part of your personal development focuses on growing your ability to hope, like Abraham, against all hope. To believe when nothing looks like it's happening. As you develop personally, these things will come more naturally for you and you will witness God ushering you into the fulfillment of your destiny. God has a great plan for your life. Your personal development in Him will open up that path. This message also gives a promise today. today. The promise is, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to His purpose. Let's close this time and pray together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, my dear wonderful God, loving Heavenly Father, thank you for your gift of detours. Thank you for loving me enough to want me to grow, develop, and mature. Thank you for not giving me my destiny or dream too soon before I am able to handle it. Because then, Lord, I may waste it, lose it, or even ruin it. God, you know what is best, and you are a gracious Lord to patiently develop me to reach that place of ultimate purpose and destiny. I am thanking you in advance for all that you have in mind. In Christ's name I pray, amen. Have a blessed day, one of God, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.